Hello everyone and welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I teach 6th grade and 8th grade English and History at a middle school and I also love to talk about all things fashion and lifestyle and beauty and books and curriculum and anything else that I'm interested in. So today I have a really exciting video for you because I am partnering with Fernanda over at that One Happy Classroom. She is a first year kindergarten teacher who is just doing an amazing job. She manages to teach all day and maintain a really great YouTube channel with some really good videos that can help you if you are a teacher at any level. So she teaches like five-year-olds and I teach like 14-year-olds, but I have watched her video about how she makes her signs and banners like 10 times. I always go back to that one when I'm trying to do really cute bulletin boards in my room because she has really great ideas on things like that. She also has super cute styles. I will link her video down below so that you can go watch hers as well. Today we are both talking about our five wardrobe staples for teaching. So I really enjoy getting dressed in the morning, getting ready to go to work, picking out outfits. And for teaching it's really fun because you don't have to dress too professionally and like sterile. You can put a little bit of your personality in it, but it also gives you an excuse to dress up every day. So I've got a few items here that I've actually had for several years. Most of them are um, items that are kind of tried and true and things that I always rely on in my teacher wardrobe. Keep in mind, Fernanda and I both live in Southern California where it's pretty warm most of the year, so we don't need anything too heavy, but you can adapt these to the weather wherever it is you live. So the first thing that I would say everyone needs in their teaching wardrobe is a well-fitting collared shirt. And this is gonna depend on your body type and your style preference. For me, I don't think that I look very good in like really crisp, tucked in, like fitted button down shirts. I'm a little busty and I don't like to be cut off at the waist. I don't generally tuck things in all the way around. I just don't think that that fits my body type the best, but I really like kind of flowier collared shirts. So I have two here that I got from Target. I've had for at least a year, both of them I think I've had for at least a year. Um, this is one, with the print it's a little bit hard to see, but this is the collar right here. It's buttoned down and it's long and more of a tunic length, so it's a little flowier. I love to roll up the sleeves and I especially like when they um, give you like this little tab with the button so that you can keep them in place all day. I like that this has just a little bit of a print, but it's not too overwhelming. So I can wear this with different colors, different pants, kind of different jewelry, and I get a lot of use out of this shirt. It's fairly thin, so I can wear just like a tank top underneath if it's kind of warm outside, or I could put a cardigan over it. So I have one in this print and then I also have one in this kind of like blush pink color and here you can see that it's a little bit of a thin material. This is the same cut, the same shirt just in a different color. Um, these are from Target. They're by Massimo and so I get a lot of use out of these. If I need to look a little bit more professional this is generally what I will wear with a nice pair of pants, maybe some wedges or heels. But at the same time I can wear these just with um, a nice pair of jeans and some sandals or flats and this is a really comfortable option for a more casual day. The next thing that I needed in my teacher wardrobe is a go-to pair of pants. And my go-to pair of pants are these kind of skinny black trousers from Banana Republic. They're constructed more like a pair of jeans, but the fabric is more like slacks or trousers. Um, they do have pockets in the back and belt loops. These fit me well. I think I might have had them hemmed. I usually have to get things hemmed. But this is a pair that I can wear with almost anything. I've definitely worn them with these shirts before. I think that black just works for me. I wear a lot of black and white actually. And since they're like a skinny jeans style, I can wear these with almost any shoes. They look good with flats, they look good with heels, they look good with wedges. I could even tuck these into boots I suppose, although like the style doesn't go very well with boots, but I think these look especially good with flats. And these are just really easy to wear and I always know I can rely on these in my closet. The next thing that I think everyone needs in their teaching wardrobe is a one-step dress. 
So I have some dresses that I really like, but I know that in order to wear it to work, I have to wear like a tank top underneath it to make it high enough here, or I have to wear a cardigan over it or a jean jacket, something just to cover the shoulders. And those are fine, but you also want to have a couple of dresses that don't require anything else to make them work. I've got two examples to show you. This one is by Pink Desert. This dress is made in the United States. It's really comfortable. It's just a black swing dress. It is long sleeved. So if it were just a black dress, I think I would feel like I always had to add something to it to kind of dress it up. But since it has these flowers, I feel like this kind of makes it a more complete outfit. I like to wear this with booties and I can just head right out the door. I don't need to add anything special to dress this up so this is one of my favorites sorry if you can hear the landscapers outside of course they would be doing that right now <laughs> the other go-to dress I have is this one is just in like a hound's tooth print um, it has short sleeves it hits just below the knees on me so this isn't one that I have to wear with like leggings underneath or a jacket over top or anything like that it's long enough it has sleeves that cover any bra straps or anything like that it's nice and high this one's pretty preppy, but I like the style. I think this is just so cute for teaching. I could wear it with different cardigans or different shoes to kind of change up the style whenever I wanted to. What I actually think would be really cute with this dress are red flats. I don't have any red flats right now, but I want to get some just to go with this dress because I think that would be so cute. Another staple item in a teacher wardrobe is cardigans. I used to love wearing cardigans. I was like known for my cardigans and I still wear them quite a bit but let me tell you why I think they're such a good investment to have in your wardrobe. So I have a few like this that I could wear over say like a black dress or just a black t-shirt and jeans and then this would dress it up quite a bit. Um, I think cardigans can really like change your whole outfit and complete your outfit. So this is just one from Target that I really like the pattern of. But what you really need are solid cardigans. So I have one, you know, similar to this in just about every color. I have one in yellow, green, blue. And the reason I like solid color cardigans so much is because when you're teaching, there are always days where it's like wear red for Red Ribbon Week or wear green for St. Patrick's Day or yellow for some other special day or your school colors. And those days tend to kind of sneak up on me and I don't want to wear like a whole outfit centered around a color. I do tend to wear pretty neutral shades in general. So if it's Red Ribbon Week, for example, I can just wear my black pants, a white shirt, and then just put this over it and I've got my red. If we're doing something for Christmas or whatever, I can just wear this as well. So I tend to not wear these like bright cardigans on a regular basis, but I always need them for those special dress up days at work. The last thing I would say to invest in are some really comfortable shoes that you like to wear, that you think are cute, but will also take you through the whole day. As a teacher, you're not usually like really hard on your shoes, but you are up and down all the time. You have to like squat down and talk to little people or you have to stand on a chair and reattach something to a bulletin board or whatever. So you need shoes that you can move around in. My personal favorite teaching shoes that go with like my style and most of my clothes are these Tom's stacked heels. These are black leather. I like that um, they kind of like hold my foot in. They're not too like floppy, you know, my feet don't come out of them at all. They actually have zippers on the side. Like I said, it's not very cold here, so most of the time I can wear open-toed shoes. And these go with my dresses, they go with pants, they go with jeans. So I get a lot of use out of these and I wear them at least a couple times a week. So those are my five wardrobe essentials for teaching. Yours might be a little bit different. I'm excited to see what Fernanda's are. If you're new to teaching and you're just getting started or you're doing student teaching, hopefully this was helpful to you. And if you're interested in seeing what I wear to school on a daily basis, I usually take a little mirror selfie on my Instagram stories every morning just to give you an idea of what I wear on a daily basis. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!